All right, this is Miss Kellyhan just going over a quick review of plate tectonics. Don't forget your different layers of your earth and remember that the core of the earth um, is mostly nickel and iron and it is pretty much a solid core and then you've got your liquid outer core and your liquid mantle. The mantle, especially in the thenosphere, is going to have this convection current which is going to move our lithosphere which is the crust part of the earth and it's the part that we actually live on. So the crust is usually about 70 kilometers thick. Um, another way of thinking of that is that we can never go that far down to actually drill so we never really get to the mantle. We have not got to the mantle yet. You have different types of crust. You got your oceanic crust, which is made up of mostly basalt, and then you got your continental crust, which is what we actually live on. Remember that if you are having convergent plates, your oceanic crust is going to go up underneath your continental crust because of the density. We also have the mantle, which is, like I said, a solid in the well, the core is a solid, and then outer core is liquid, and then the mantle is a liquid itself. We've already talked about the core. I'm not going to go into that too much. Um, but what I want to get into is that the lithosphere is divided into tectonic plates, and that this was a theory that was composed based on the idea that at one time you had this supercontinent which we call Pangaea and over time it gradually because of the plate tectonics has moved and Weiner is the one who come up with this idea that Pangaea pretty much split apart and um, the reason why we believe that this this event happened here is because there are fossils that of organisms a specific species of organism that can be found in South America and that also can be found in Africa. There's no way that if the continents were the way they are now that the animals could have swam all the way across the ocean to Africa from South America. Also known as continental drift and you can actually put these guys together, South America and Africa and the other continents like a puzzle piece and they'll actually fit together if you actually put them side by side. Here is the different fossils and the different types of species that were found all the way across. And like I said, if you put these puzzle pieces together, you get Pangaea again. And, and you see how the, the organisms could have just walked across here. You, I mean, because this would have all been one, one big landmass. So we talked about convection current in the athenosphere and you get this rotation. It warms up, it heats up due to the core and then as it gets up to the crust it cools down and then it makes this and you can think of boiling rice and you can see the rice actually doing this circular motion due to the convection current. There's three different types, well we're going to go into those real quick. There's um, different kinds of plate boundaries. You have your divergent, which is where the plates actually move apart. The main thing you need to remember is the mid-oceanic um, ridge that we have. Then you also have your transform boundaries, which they pretty much just slide past each other like they're showing you in this picture. And um, of course, last but not least, you've got convergent boundaries. And convergent boundaries is where they actually come together, and you can get different types of things from this. Um, we can definitely get some volcanoes and trenches because of this. Here's the oceanic crust that is definitely going to dip down because of density factors, and the actual continental crust is actually going to kind of pull this way, and it's going to build these uh, volcanic or what we call a volcanic arch up and then it's going to produce this trench where the oceanic crust is going up underneath. Here's another picture of that. 
two continental plates, when they collide, you're going to get mountain ranges. So here's a picture of that going on in the mountain ranges up underneath, I mean, up on top. 